Good morning. Welcome to What I Eat In A Week as a vegan. You guys are gonna be shocked, but look at me. I'm not in a skirt. I've got my legs covered. Just felt like being really cozy today, being able to like cross my legs and get all snug whilst out while at work. So that's literally it. But anyway, we're talking about food and I'm about to make breakfast. We're gonna have a banana -y porridge. So these chunks were going to kind of like caramelize and then this stuff was a little bit too brown so I've mushed it up and it's going to go straight in the porridge but these are going to go on top. So I've just got a little bit of coconut sugar. Let me just make a little. I'm going to be using this. It's something one of my housemates bought. I was actually really happy to see that it was vegan. So I'm just going to spray the pan with that. I put some sugar side up and some sugar side down. I'm just trying to see what works best. I'm having fun right now. And then over here in the porridge we've got oats cinnamon, coconut sugar, banana, blueberries, and vegan yogurt. The vegan yogurt in question is this vegan yogurt. I'm gonna add some water to it and then stir it all together. This week I am definitely trying to eat a bit more healthy, especially with all the moving lately. I've really gotten out of the habit of my like go-to healthy recipes, I guess. It's just been a bit of an adjustment. So I'm definitely trying to get better and I'm really focusing on that this week. I wanna eat a lot more veg and spend a bit more time cooking. That's the goal for this week. I'm gonna be trying to eat a lot more home-cooked, cozy vegan food that is nourishing, basically. If you listen to my podcast, you'll know that Marsha critiqued my porridge quite meanly <laughs> recently. So I've really worked to level that up lately. Yummy, yummy, yummy. The porridge was too hot, so I went and did my makeup because I need to head off to work. Don't forget to scan or tap your club. Dee had some leftover chips, I'm eating those. Very nice, I like cold chips. And this place in London Fields, not half as nice. Looks like it's got potential, but like, it's not as nice as it. It's smaller and less pretty. This house is fucking sick. Mm. I hope you get it. Okay, so I think you guys saw that I bought figs yesterday. Honestly, I think I just got really giddy that they were reduced. And I didn't really know what to do with them, so I went to Pinterest and just looked up a fig breakfast. Found a recipe by Jamie Oliver, which has like enough of the ingredients I have. It's a vegetarian recipe, but I can just swap the yogurt to vegan yogurt, although I am running a bit low on that. Yeah, we're gonna make a fig granola breakfast. I'll leave a link down below to the recipe that I'm loosely following because the recipe is probably gonna be better than what I do. I think it's gonna be quite a nice one. I'm gonna roast the figs. I don't know what I'm doing with figs, so I'm gonna follow I'm gonna follow the recipe and we'll see how it goes. still got quite a bit left over. I think I'll just keep the rest for topping up porridge the rest of the week. But hello, what a beautiful breakfast. I'm really proud of this. So I found these in Tesco's the other day. They are definitely out of date, but hopefully I'll open them up, they'll be fine. And I'm just gonna make these for lunch. Sorry friends, I put the uh, camera down real fast to quickly carry out the five second rule. So we've still got seven out of eight dough balls, was it? One, two, three, four, yes, seven out of eight. <laughs> there might be a hair or two on them. I think I cleared, cleared them all, but oh, whatever.
The garlic butter could be garlicky up. They're all right. So I'm going to the salon later. I'm actually getting a facial, which I'm very excited about. This changing of the seasons is always like quite bad on my skins. I know my skin's not awful, but it's definitely starting to feel really dry. It's starting to get just a bit congested as well. So I'm getting a Hydro Ox, an oxygenated hydro facial. <laughs> I'll double check with um, Saskia when we get to the salon and I'll ask her a few questions about it, but it's um, it's a really good treatment basically. Really good for the change of seasons. I would love to get facials more often, but they are quite expensive. So generally I'll get the more in the winter. I generally get four a year maximum and they're generally the changing of seasons because that's when my skin's most sensitive. So I'm definitely getting one now in November as the weather starts to get colder. If it's struggling throughout the winter with all the harsh winds and central heating i'll probably get another one around like january february time and then normally i'll get one just we get in summer so actually it's more like three a year if i could i would get them monthly they're just too expensive and then i'm getting my nails done after that but the point i'm trying to make is i'm gonna be there from like three till six and then i've got to get home i don't think that was a particularly big breakfast or lunch so I'm just gonna have a like second lunch basically. I got a plant chef falafel meal deal reduced yesterday at Tesco, so I'm gonna have that, but I'm gonna fry up the falafels a little bit just because I hate a baked falafel. I like them to be a little bit crispy. I'm gonna buy a chocolate bar, not because I'm hungry. <laughs> my breath just still tastes really garlicky, even though I brush my teeth. There's a lot of garlic today, you know. That'd be wild, man. Yeah, it's like it's half and half, isn't it? Half laminated yeah. and half natural. Oh, it's satisfying. It feels good. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the feel of that. You're the first one to say, oh, really? like, oh, it's so comfortable. <laughs> oh, no, I'm like, get it out. Yeah, so a bit blotchy right now, but it'll calm down and I'll look gorgeous in two days. I feel like earlier when I was trying to explain that I have problem skin, no one could see it on camera, and now it's like, See, this is where all the problems were, especially around the mouth mm. and on the nose. Mm. Got broccoli and pasta boiling together. Why not save water, put them together? Without a doubt, this brand is the best tofu and I couldn't believe when I found it discounted the other day. We're gonna use this in our pasta sauce. So the stocks, we're gonna put these in the pasta sauce as well. Okay, we've got a bit of tofu in here, some cherry tomatoes, the broccoli, some tahini, garlic puree and some vegan Greek yogurt as well. I'm not as familiar of making a pasta sauce like this as I used to be, so. <laughs> this used to be my specialty, blending up leftovers into a sauce. I'm not sure if it still is. That's all right, I like that. First off, let's just add some olive oil. This is so thick. I meant to put in some pasta water, that's where I've gone wrong. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this vegan parmesan on top, which is really tasty. I've had this before. God, this is not attractive, is it? Hopefully it tastes nice. Do you know that's actually quite nice? Thank God. <laughs> mm. 
morning i'm very aware that i'm very dressed up for a wednesday morning i've got a podcast recording at 11 30. i'm having becky back on uh bottle blue we're talking about taylor swift this week i've made it relevant we're doing two parts basically the first half of the podcast we're going to be talking about how important it is that celebrities have your ethics so talking about like taylor swift and her private jets and also discussing some other celebrities whether or not it is important to us that they are ethical does it make us like more of like say for example they're vegan so i think it'll be quite an interesting chat and then the second half it's it's just full on Taylor Swift fan mode. We're going to be talking about like Midnight's, our favorite Taylor Swift eras, our favorite Taylor Swift songs, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, starting off with something that's very accessible to everyone and then like second half is very much like Taylor Swift. So my look today is very Bejeweled inspired. I got this uh, top recently at the Vintage Markets in Brick Lane. Oh, and this is how my skin's looking this morning. It's still taking a little while to calm down, but it's looking so much better. It feels incredible. It's so clean. I'm really impressed. And my nails, obviously, gorgeous. But yeah, we're making porridge. Oats, chia seeds, mixed raisins, blueberries, vegan yogurt. I actually bought some maple syrup yesterday in Holland and Barrett, so we'll be putting this on top. I actually really love maple syrup. I think it's the nicest syrup, especially this time of year on a breakfast. It just, it has that oozy taste to it. So we're gonna be drizzling this on top. Back from the platform edge. Hey Beck, are you excited Hello. to be back on the pod? I am, thank you so much for having me back. Oh, happy to have you back. Are you excited to talk about Toto? I am. I'm, I'm excited to learn. I feel like you actually know a lot more than I do. <laughs> so I'm excited to have an education. I've been seeing these TikToks where they like have, have you seen them, like the PowerPoint slides? Oh my like, God, yeah. It takes you through from like beginning to the end of her career. Yeah. So I feel like I know a bit, but I'm ready to learn more. Mm. And I'm excited. So how did you find talking about Taylor Swift for an hour? It was really fun. Yeah? <laughs> it was so much fun. We could have done it for about four hours. Like, and what's your favorite Taylor Swift era? Reputation, I think, or Evermore. Oh, really? Yeah. I was surprised Reputation was said first. I yeah, no, it depends. The, there's two moods. There's yeah, those are mood two moods. There's a reputation mood. Mm. When I want revenge, it's going to be reputation. When I want to cry, it's going to be Evermore. <laughs> Do you know what? I forgot to mention this, but can we go to one of those club nights where it's yes, just yes. Taylor? Yeah. Because I keep seeing them yes. on TikTok. Yeah. And it's all I want in yeah. life. Yeah. guys back home this is a big day basically because i have finally discovered how to change my podcast into reels <laughs> i've spent like forever trying to figure out the process for this and i finally figured it out so we're gonna start getting like reels tiktoks promoting my podcast which hopefully gets us more listeners because right now i'm spending 40 pounds per episode to produce it i'm not seen that money come back yet so it's an investment it's an expensive investment so hopefully we'll get lots of listeners and then get a sponsorship and then it's money in my pocket rather than money out of my pocket at least balancing would be fine i really enjoy it ah oh. today's episode is so good but i'm obviously a swifty but if you're a swifty you're gonna love it i'm um, also i maybe got a tattoo <laughs> not today it's been here since like last week just letting you know oh my god okay so i'm very certain i told you guys i need to move again thankfully this time moving with the housemates they did kind of warn me before i moved in just because i'm in an existing contract it wasn't a new one i took over someone else's spot here it was a rolling contract the landlord's here sold the property so we need to get out we viewed somewhere in whitechapel like yeah about this time last week me and Liam went and <laughs> we loved it. And it's not too far away. It's still really central, huge. It doesn't have a bath, but I can make peace with that. Sacrifices needed to be made, okay? Basically, we just got accepted. So we've been waiting a week for acceptance and I was just thinking it's just not happening, but we got it. So <laughs> December, we're moving again. Wonderful. Oh my God. So we'll probably do a tour of here soon, <laughs> basically. Normally influencers, and vloggers whatever we don't do tours when we first move into a place because 
like privacy issues really we don't want anyone figuring out where we live but i'm not living here long so you won't have long to wait but you know i'm out soon I'm starting to wonder if perhaps this soup was uh, meant to be two servings. I'm actually really enjoying this soup. It's very filling. I didn't necessarily need to make so much bread because of the lentils. It's just super filling, really warming, perfect for winter. It's been a while since I last showed you guys my skincare routine, so I thought as vegan beauty girl, I should probably share that once in a while. As you can imagine, all of the skincare products I use are vegan and cruelty free. I have quite sensitive skin, it's getting quite dry now as we're getting into the colder months. So all the products I'm using are kind of good for sensitive skin and good for hydration. This niacinamide product, I love it, I've loved it for years. That's really good at keeping my skin clear. And then hyaluronic acid is just your best friend all year round really, but especially in the colder months keeping your skin hydrated. Okay, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know one of my favourite breakfasts is making vegan eggy bread, french toast, whatever you want to call it. It's normally a flawless recipe, however, I am not getting along with the pans in my new flat. I've gone out and bought a new pan for future videos so you don't have to watch this sort of chaos again, but this is the worst my eggy bread's ever turned out, so please... Um, this is normally delicious and wonderful and this was a bit of a flop, not gonna lie. You guys thought I forgot to put on SPF in the winter, you're wrong. I come back and do that a bit later, just letting the rest of my skincare settle in before I put on my SPF. I use this one for oily skin from Revolution and it helps kind of keep my oily skin at bay for the rest of the day. I really love it. I met up with a friend for lunch. We went to Honest Burgers. You might recognize him. He is Vegan Eater, another vegan influencer. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for the bacon farm. Oh, he loves Heinz. <laughs> oh, my precious Heinz. <laughs> this is painful to watch. It is, it is painful to do. But... I'm an environmentalist, but I hate glass bottles, ketchup. It's the yeah. worst. You got like a channel or anything? Yeah. What's the name? So I can get to. Um, I'm vegan beauty girl. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I'm gonna take you off. <laughs> yeah. Don't make it. Don't make it. Thank you. Thank you. So I've arrived from my dance class. I'm actually trying to do my first solo. Thank you, my first solo this year, this dance show. So I'm covering someone's shift today, which means I'm doing the reception job twice this week, which is not really what I like to do. Um, I very much enjoy my one day a week. It's just like the perfect balance, but at the same time, very happy to help out when they need it. Really love where I work and want to be supportive. God, I look a mess. Oats, hot chocolate powder, yogurt, chia seeds, and raisins. Gonna add in a little bit of tahini for some protein, really. And this hot chocolate powder is what I use. Very nice. A lot of their hot chocolates are vegan, just have to look out for that. I'm gonna put in a couple squares of this. Might have been too much. Just a reminder. Check your tits. 
I've used the app Good On You to collect a three pounds bag from the Chai Guys and it says it's a vegan bag. So we're gonna see what we get. Sometimes they kind of cancel on you last minute, other times you get a great bargain. So yeah, we'll find out. Basically it's an app dedicated to battling food waste, which we love. Today was unsuccessful. I would never rely on this. It's a nice bonus if you can get it, but I wouldn't rely on it. So today they actually closed early. They don't have anything left to hand out. Yeah, I'll also say the app's not the best for vegans. It's all right for me in East London, but it's just not the best. Oh, I like these lights. That's from Spitfields. Actually had quite a fun day at work today. It's just hard because it takes time away from my content work. So I'm gonna need to do some video edits over the weekend. But I do those most of the time anyway. I haven't got a lot, I haven't got any ads that I'm filming for this week. So it wasn't too bad, basically. This rice was actually just in the cupboard when I moved in. So I'm cooking rice these days. So we're gonna make a rice broccoli dish. I nearly forgot to put that in. Should have put it in at the start, but we'll do it now. We are now adding in veg, which I found at the back of my fridge shelf. Oh my god, this looks so good. Yay, really happy with this. Cheers guys. It's actually a little bit too hot for me right now. But I did get a couple of parcels through from Vinted. Let's open them whilst I wait for this to cool down. I was starting to feel really bored of my wardrobe. I'm over it. I've got a nice little black blouse. I'm gonna leave the prices here. I can't remember how much I spent on it. But yeah, this is from Urban Outfitters, was it? No, three people. Yeah, hopefully that looks cute. And then this one I probably didn't need to buy. I just love anything that sparkles. It's a bad thing really. I think this will fit. Oh my gosh, it's so midnight. I'm obsessed, it's ridiculous. Yeah, this one cost me about 20 quid second hand and I don't even know if it's gonna fit. It's from Chi Chi London. Oh, so cute, sparkly mini dress, like I love it. I always find it most difficult when seasons change to not buy stuff. Like I just feel like I wear the same outfits every single day. I'm gonna need something new. I'm on the hunt for a new skirt as well. Just a new everyday skirt. But it's just so hard to find. I find with skirts so hard to find one, which is like the right fit. I'm on the hunt, so hopefully I'll find one soon. But I'm very careful about buying new. And I'm not just gonna buy any skirt. I'm gonna make sure it's something I'm in love with and that fits perfectly and that I'm just gonna wear all the time. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on another week. It's been a pleasure as always. Like, subscribe, etc. if you wanna see more of me. I don't know what you fancy. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye.